in this video i am going to show how i created projector screen frame and also i am going to review this low cost reflective screen material which i got in sale for around 1000 rupees with delivery from bangood to buy hello everyone i am vikrant and welcome back to my channel before we get started please do subscribe I got this order in around 30 days. Order came in this small box with simple packaging. Inside it we have 100 inch screen and velcro stickers for putting it on wall. First, I wanted to make comparison of performance. I think this is the most important part. I folded screen such a way that I have three partitions. Left side is reflective screen area. Middle is back of the screen and right is colored painted wall. Those of you who didn't watch my previous wall painting video, do check it out. Link is at the top. This was a very big surprise for me. Even in full daylight conditions, having very bright ambient light, reflective screen gives results like a TV. I was shocked to see this and thought crossed my mind about why I put so much effort in painting the wall, even though it has its own benefits. Now here is the trick part. Screen specification mentions that viewing angle is maximum 30 degree. This is applicable for horizontal as well as vertical. To get optimal result, your projector needs to be in line or near to your eyes. Means if projector is mounted on top wall and has a big gap where you sit, then this screen will not work for you. Screen reflects light in the direction it came from. To test this. I placed my projector away from screen and projected at an angle. After this placement, if I sit in front of the screen, I don't see video at all. But if I move towards the projector, quality becomes much better. Means to view on the screen, you need to be in line with where the projection is happening. Let's move on to screen frame making. I don't have heavy hardware equipment at home to make frames like the other videos on YouTube. So this is the easiest way I could come up with. I measured my screen projection on wall and added 2 cm as buffer for frame. I recorded these numbers and brought plywood frames of 3 inch width. It cost me around 500 rupees for all 5 parts. I bought L-shaped corner pieces from hardware store for fitting this frame at home. Just added screws on top of it with screw driver. Once I fitted screws in all corner pieces, I also added two hanging holders to attach this frame on wall. Once frame was ready, I put it on wall to see if it is as per my expectations. Just in case I needed to do any adjustment, but it was fine. Now it was time to work on screen material. First I started ironing it from back side with low heat. I also tried to use steam in between but it was too much for this material as it started expanding. So any of you planning on using this screen make sure you iron the material slowly on low heat only. Once ironed, I put reflective side on floor so that we can start attaching frame on top of it. Then I slowly put plywood frame making sure I don't damage the material. I am using wood stapler to attach screen to plywood. Process I followed is as per this image. You need to first staple on middle of the top side, move on to other side, pull the material and staple in center. Then go to middle of the right side, pull and staple 
and then finally move on to middle of the left side, pull the material and staple it. Repeat the whole process with 3 to 4 staples in one go, about 1 inch apart. At first, I thought some wrinkles were remaining on the screen, but it went away as I moved gradually towards corners. Just make sure you are doing it slowly and carefully. At corners, I folded screen material and stapled multiple times on top of it. And after about 2-3 to three hours of work, I was finally ready. Once ready, I put this frame on wall to see how it looks. I then marked exact position of projection on screen. This is when I noticed that my plywood had little bend because of which projection was having uneven spaces on sides. This was again one learning point for me. After marking, I removed screen again and put it on floor. I then used this black tape I ordered from Amazon for border making. This time, I am putting border exact to that of projection. Border was done and I am ready with the screen. But I was not happy with the background considering this screen was little smaller in size to my previous paint wall. I didn't want to invest much time in repainting the wall hence I decided to put wallpaper instead. I measured some distance from screen with 16 as to 9 ratio. This is sticker wallpaper so I just needed to peel off backside and paste carefully on the wall. I normally do it by putting tape on lower side with measurement so that alignment doesn't go wrong. And our projector screen is ready. One more important point, at night reflected light is very bright and this can cause strain on your eyes. So my preference is to keep projector with small away distance from your sitting position. So I would say ideal viewing angle is between 10 to 30 degrees. Since I put my projector about 2 to 3 feet from where my eyes would be. You need to review this positioning as per your home setup. My projector has brightness settings which helps because at night I would watch content in movie mode with reduced brightness and at daytime I watch content with standard mode. Here are some of the video samples after completion. I am using this screen for past 2 months now, here is my final verdict. Those who want wide viewing angle should stay away from this kind of screens. You need to be careful about brightness as too much can cause issues for eyes. If you ask me, this is much better experience than the wall I painted which I thought was better than the regular wall. I can now watch videos on daytime during the weekend as well. I think I covered most of the important points but if any of you have any doubts do ask me in comment section. I would be happy to share what I have learned so far. 
and most importantly don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next one